up a year ago. Uh, we set it up with the intent to try and help players when they retire, help them in the transitional phase, but also help them down the track. The Arupa Clubhouse is all about helping players make the transition from professional rugby into the uh, post-rugby world. So, building a new career, uh, educating themselves to choose a career or assist themselves in making a position into another career, or just providing a resource to, to speak to other former players who've been through the same uh, situation themselves. It's just been about kind of let it all sink in. Uh, I think going from being a professional rugby player for nine years to not playing rugby at all or not going to be able to play rugby ever again is it's quite hard to take. We, we try to help them with all their career development and uh, personal development, we help them with mental health issues and so it's incredibly important that we're a, a support structure for them. So you've come from a very regimented, uh, structured existence uh, for maybe 10, 15 years for some guys and then you're into you know, uh, the world of, uh, of what would seem like to be the unknown. So I think it's the uncertainty is the biggest challenge at the start. Yeah, I suppose it has been a bit of a cushion for me, like in terms of if I need to talk to anybody, you know, it's a send an email or a phone call, the guys are there. I think it's just, it's like a comfort, comfort blanket and, um, and it's vital that it's in place. You look at the sport now, guys are getting injured and maybe their career is over earlier than mine was, you know, in their early 20s or mid 20s and you go from being in school, you know, being a professional rugby player a year later, and three or four years later I might be retired. So. It's about having the right people in place there and I look to help those guys nurse them through into the into the real world which is uh, very different from professional sport. The networking is hugely important. The guys have, have a name when they're playing. Uh, when they retire their name uh, perhaps over time can slowly get lost in some cases. Uh, we try to network the guys in while they're playing and, and then we're into, uh, into retirement so that they're able to to, uh, to use their name to help get into positions. They obviously have good qualifications, but the networking helps them use those qualifications and leverage them into positions. I've done a lot of uh, speaking at different, with different banks, uh, different corporate events, and one of the questions I always ask is, you know, how can you relate sport to business? Um, one thing with both is you have to roll your sleeves up and do the hard work. Success is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, sacrifice, uh, study and learning. I love rugby, but I gotta now make a transition into the real world. Um, whether that takes two or three months or whether it takes two or three years, um, Irupa has been there the whole way with me through through my journey, and it's, it's been great that I do now have a couple of years where I can look back at my career, let it all sink in, as I alluded to, and uh, move on. Yeah.